The only way that you're gonna live off of your business and quit your nine to five job is if you develop massive focus. And today I'm gonna to show you the two things that you must obsess about in your business in order to live off of your company revenue. Now, the, let me say before we even get started with this video, there are so many people that wanna be business owners in this day and age. And so many people are trying to get caught up in this fantasy that they're going to start up a business today and they're going to be living in a mansion tomorrow. The honest truth is that most business owners do not become wildly successful until they've put in a minimum of 10 to 12 years. And that's for the businesses that succeed. Four out of five businesses fail within the first five years, and it's largely due to cash flow. So if you're going to be one of the chosen few that escapes the entrepreneur cemetery, and you go on to build a business that you can live off of, that can support your family and your friends, this is exactly what you need to focus on. You need to understand that there are only three possible ways to grow your business. There's only three possible ways, okay? No matter who tells you what in the online world, you gotta understand it all boils down to this. Number one, if you're going to grow your business because you're gonna need more revenue to be able to live off of what you're making, you gotta get more customers, okay? And if you've watched some of my previous videos, I've given you a lot of information about how to get more customers. You cannot just sell to your family members and your friends and expect to be able to live off of your business. You know, I get a lot of my church friends that talk to me about wanting to set up a business and they come to me and say, man, you know, I want to set up something and I want to be able to do it so that only a small number of people within my community, within my church can have access to it. And while all of that is really great and it has very noble intentions, that might be something that you initially want to start off as more of a side hustle or a side hobby because business has a lot to do with big numbers. See, if you're going to be successful in a business and live off of it full time, you've got to maximize the number of people within the demographic that you're reaching out to. So you got to have customers. The second thing that you need to really focus on is you got to be able to always increase your average order value. Now, let me say this. Some businesses are better than others at select parts of the three ways to grow. You know, you might look at a business like McDonald's and say, okay, well, the average order value uh, at McDonald's can't be that high if all of the food is value meals and dollar menu type of uh, foods that people are buying. How could they be doing that great of a job and be making billions of dollars? Well, they got this one part really right. <laughs> they got a lot of customers. You know how it says on a lot of McDonald's signs, over a billion customers sold? That's how they go about generating their billion dollars. And even when it comes to them increasing their average order value, that's the reason why they always ask you, do you want fries with that? Do you want to supersize this menu item? They're always trying to focus on increasing the amount of their sale. OK, so not only do you need to focus on just simply acquiring a customer and getting them to buy your product, you need to be able to figure out how do you get them to be able to buy more? How do you get them to buy, your, buy at a higher price point? How do you upsell them into getting the best of what you have to offer so you can walk away with more money in the bank? If you don't focus on doing this, you're not going to be able to have a sustainable business that you can live off of. Having a business in and of itself is very expensive. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. It's a very, very expensive endeavor. And a lot of reasons why businesses fail uh, is because so many entrepreneurs are taking so much cash out 
there's not enough cash going in to keep the lights on. So that's the reason why this first point is of the utmost importance. This third piece right here is about your sales frequency. You've got to be able to start selling more often. You know, have you ever seen a business that only operates like one season out of a year? And you wonder, man, how are they able to live off of just being able to do, you know, one holiday sale, one, you know, big promotion, one big extravaganza? Well, the honest truth is that the average millionaire has seven different streams of income. And in most cases, most businesses cannot thrive off of a one-time event. In order for real businesses to grow and succeed and dominate in the marketplace, they have to be selling around the clock. A lot of you guys are seeing other business owners on YouTube and social media, and you're wondering, man, why are they always selling something? You know, is it because of the fact that they're money hungry, that they're trying to do this and they're trying to do that? Well, the honest truth is every major business in America is always selling. Amazon is always selling. McDonald's is always selling. FedEx is always selling. So everybody is in the game of selling, right? So if you think about this mathematically, for every one customer that you get that buys a certain price point that you're offering, the fastest way to make more money is to just continue continually doing that time and time again. Now, what will separate one business from another business is you getting one customer every month versus you getting one customer every minute, right? Who do you think is going to make more money? These are the three key things that you must focus on in order to grow your business revenue. Now, the second part of this is about getting profitable because you can generate all the revenue in the world. But if your business is not profitable after all of the expenses that are taken out of your revenue, you're not going to be able to live off of your business a day in your life. I know entrepreneurs right now that own six figure businesses in terms of revenue, but they still have to work at a nine to five job all because of the fact that they're making a lot of money, but they have so high overhead in terms of expenses. So after all of their vendors have to be paid, after all of their employees have to be paid, there's no money for themselves to walk away with and put food on the table. So what you gotta focus on doing is you got to get profitable fast. Now, in order for you to get profitable, there's a few things that you need to focus on. Number one, you need to focus on keeping your operating expenses as low as possible. Too many entrepreneurs, they're trying to get in the game and buy all of this fancy equipment and all these tools and gadgets that they don't even need in order to start generating sales. You know, there's always some shiny object. The grass is always greener on the other side. The best thing for you to do is to keep your expenses as low as possible because it keeps more cash in the bank. Now, another thing that you need to focus on doing is already positioning your business financially to getting accustomed to you actually taking money out from time to time. I know this sounds very counterintuitive because you might be saying, well, what man, Uzziah, Everything that I've heard about business up to this point is always about reinvesting in your business, reinvesting in your business, reinvesting in your business. And that's true. But what if you only think about reinvesting in your business and you never structure your company to ever take money out, but only put money in? See, a lot of entrepreneurs have built a business where they're generating a revenue and their profit margins might be pretty small. So they continually throw more money into the business, more money into the business, more money into the business, hoping that there will come one day <laughs> where they will actually be able to eat off of the fruits of their labors. And it just doesn't happen. Because if you want it to happen, you've got to make it happen. It's not going to happen by accident. 
it will be very easy for all of your business expenses to be sucked up by every other thing other than yourself. And the honest truth is, in a business, you get paid last. Everybody else gets paid before you get paid. And so you got to start structuring your business to start taking money out in reasonable portions from time to time. So that way you can make sure that your business can still be sustained with the right amount of cash left in the bank while you're still walking away with your cut. Okay. Also, just like I said before, you got to constantly reinvest. So you don't just take all of the money out of your business. You keep some money in there as a part of your profits. You keep something in there as a part of your savings and as a part of your holding into that account, okay? So every time you make a sale, there should be some part of that sale revenue that really should be going into reinvesting in your company. If you're serious about growing your business, if you're serious about living off of it, if you're serious about transitioning out of the nine to five into a business that's going to allow you to be your own boss, you have to have the discipline to take a portion of every revenue that is coming from a sale and putting it back into the business. Otherwise, you're gonna burn yourself out too quick and you won't have any money. And that's the reason why four out of five businesses fail within five years is because they ran out of cash flow. They didn't follow these instructions, now they're out of business, they're bankrupt, okay? The last thing that you need to focus on as you're keeping money in the bank and being profitable is focusing on your taxes. A lot of businesses end up going under and entrepreneurs can't live off of it because of the fact that once it's time to pay taxes, they haven't been properly saving for that tax bill throughout the year. They haven't been staying on top of their quarterly taxes. They haven't been staying on top of their payroll taxes. And so they find themselves behind the curve at the year end. Okay. You have to keep money in your business. Yes, this is about living off of your business, but this is a really important point that I want all of you guys to understand. You know, at best, you're really only going to ideally walk away with 50% of your business revenue from year to year, and that's if you're doing immaculate accounting. That's if you're keeping your overhead optimized. That's if you got your taxes right where you need to have them every single year. A lot of amateur entrepreneurs, they come in and immediately they believe that whatever dollar they're going to make from their business, they're going to be able to pocket every dollar of that revenue. <laughs> and, and that can't be farther from the truth. You're going to have expenses. You're going to have all of these different things coming from all of these different places. And again, one of the last people to get paid in your business, honestly, is you. But we'll talk about changing that over time. And right now, it's important that you learn all of the steps that goes into successfully transitioning out of your nine to five job into a business that will sustain you in your adult life, okay? So if you wanna know all of those steps on how to transition out and be your own business owner, I want you to now go to the link. Go to the card above that I'm giving you. I'm giving you my free gift to you. This is a full, extensive, step-by-step -step video where I'm giving you all the steps on how to be able to be your own boss. Operating in a business that allows you to make money from home as well as travel the world while making money. You know, I have been blessed to be able to run a business from the comfort of my own home. I'm in my home office right now. But whenever I find myself traveling, you know, taking care of other things and I'm not at the house, money is still coming in. I don't have to go to anybody's office or be physically present at any one location in order for me to generate revenue. And I've been blessed to be living off of my business for a few years now, and I'd like you to know how to do the same. So if you're interested in being your own boss, escaping a nine to five, go to the link. Tap the card above. Get to where you need to get, all right? Now, 
Last but not least, I want you to leave me a comment. What was the number one thing that you took away from this video? What do you think is the thing that you really got to focus on out of everything that we discussed? We talked about some big things. We talked about the only three ways to grow your business. And we talked about how to make sure that you have profit after your revenue, because there's a big difference between revenue and profit. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your number one takeaway was from this video, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and this is Black Men's Career.